Scandals refer to high-profile events or revelations that involve unethical, illegal, or morally questionable behavior, often associated with individuals or organizations in positions of power, influence, or public prominence. Scandals typically involve actions that are considered socially unacceptable, immoral, or in violation of laws, regulations, or established norms. Scandals can encompass a wide range of misconduct, such as financial fraud, corruption, sexual misconduct, political impropriety, corporate malfeasance, or other forms of unethical behavior. They often generate significant public attention, media coverage, and public outcry due to the magnitude of the actions, the impact on individuals or society, and the breach of trust or betrayal of public expectations. Scandals can have far-reaching consequences, including legal repercussions, reputational damage, financial losses, and changes in public perception and trust. They may lead to investigations, legal proceedings, resignations or terminations, regulatory reforms, and public discourse surrounding the underlying issues or systemic failures that allowed the scandal to occur. Scandals can also serve as catalysts for societal change, prompting discussions, activism, and reforms in areas such as ethics, governance, accountability, transparency, and the balance of power. They can expose flaws in institutions, highlight systemic problems, and lead to demands for increased oversight, regulation, and ethical standards. Ultimately, scandals serve as reminders of the importance of integrity, ethical conduct, and the need for checks and balances in various spheres of society. They shape public perceptions, influence public discourse, and can contribute to a broader understanding of the consequences of wrongdoing and the importance of accountability. The Watergate scandal is one of the most infamous political scandals in American history. The break-in at the Democratic National Committee DNC, headquarters at the Watergate complex in Washington, D.C., was initially seen as a minor event. However, as investigations unfolded, it became clear that the break-in was part of a much larger operation involving illegal activities orchestrated by officials within President Richard Nixon's administration. What made the Watergate scandal particularly significant was the subsequent attempt by Nixon and his aides to cover up their involvement. The cover-up involved efforts to obstruct the investigation, destroy evidence, and silence potential witnesses. As the investigations progressed, various pieces of evidence, including secret White House tapes, were revealed, shedding light on the extent of the wrongdoing. The scandal unfolded through a series of investigations, congressional hearings, and legal proceedings. The media played a crucial role in uncovering the details and raising public awareness about the scandal. Journalists Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein of The Washington Post played a pivotal role in investigative reporting, bringing the Watergate scandal to the forefront of national consciousness. The Watergate scandal exposed abuses of power, violations of the rule of law, and breaches of public trust within the highest levels of government. It revealed a pattern of unethical and illegal behavior, including the use of government agencies, such as the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, to obstruct justice and engage in political espionage. The scandal ultimately led to the resignation of President Richard Nixon on August 8, 1974 before the House of Representatives could impeach him. Nixon's resignation marked a significant moment in American political history, as it demonstrated that no individual, not even the president, is above the law. The Watergate scandal had a profound impact on American society and politics. It highlighted the importance of transparency, accountability, and the role of the press in holding those in power accountable. It led to reforms in campaign finance laws, government ethics, and the powers and oversight of intelligence agencies. The legacy of the Watergate scandal continues to shape discussions about government integrity, political ethics, and the balance of power between the executive branch and other branches of government.
It serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding democratic principles and the rule of law in a democratic society. The Monica Lewinsky scandal was a highly publicized political and personal controversy that unfolded during President Bill Clinton's second term in office. Monica Lewinsky, a former White House intern, became embroiled in a scandal when it was revealed that she had engaged in an extramarital affair with President Clinton between 1995 and 1997. The scandal came to light when details of the affair were exposed during a deposition for a sexual harassment lawsuit filed by Paula Jones against President Clinton. Linda Tripp, a colleague of Lewinsky, secretly recorded their conversations discussing the affair and shared the recordings with the independent counsel investigating the president. As the scandal unfolded, it attracted significant media attention and led to a legal and political firestorm. President Clinton initially denied having sexual relations with Lewinsky, leading to allegations of perjury and obstruction of justice. However, evidence, including the famous blue dress with Clinton's DNA, corroborated Lewinsky's claims. The scandal ultimately led to President Clinton's impeachment by the House of Representatives in December 1998 on charges of perjury and obstruction of justice. The impeachment process unfolded along partisan lines, with Republicans largely voting in favor of impeachment and Democrats opposing it. However, in February 1999, the Senate acquitted President Clinton on both charges, falling short of the required two-thirds majority to remove him from office. The Monica Lewinsky scandal had a significant impact on American society and politics. It sparked debates about personal morality, the abuse of power, and the role of the presidency. The scandal exposed the vulnerabilities of the president and highlighted issues of trust, integrity, and privacy in public office. It also had far-reaching implications for Monica Lewinsky herself, who faced intense public scrutiny and a significant invasion of her privacy. In the years following the scandal, she became an advocate against cyberbullying, public shaming, and the disproportionate consequences faced by individuals involved in high-profile scandals. The Lewinsky scandal remains a notable moment in American political history, serving as a reminder of the intersection between personal behavior, political power, and the scrutiny that public figures face. It continues to be a subject of analysis and discussion, contributing to ongoing conversations about ethics, media responsibility, and the complexities of navigating personal relationships within the political realm. The Enron scandal was a massive corporate scandal that rocked the business world in the early 2000s. Enron Corporation, once considered a leading energy company and a symbol of innovation, was revealed to have engaged in widespread accounting fraud and corporate misconduct. Enron employed complex accounting techniques and special-purpose entities to manipulate its financial statements. The company utilized off-balance sheet transactions and partnerships to hide debt, inflate profits, and give a false impression of its financial health. These deceptive practices allowed Enron to maintain a facade of success while masking the reality of its deteriorating financial condition. The fraud began to unravel in 2001 when financial irregularities were discovered, leading to a series of investigations and revelations. As the extent of the fraud became apparent, Enron's stock price plummeted, resulting in massive financial losses for shareholders and employees. In December 2001, Enron filed for bankruptcy, which, at the time, was the largest bankruptcy filing in U.S. history. The Enron scandal had far-reaching consequences. It exposed significant flaws in corporate governance, auditing practices, and regulatory oversight. The scandal prompted a loss of trust in the accounting profession and the role of auditors. It also highlighted the need for increased transparency and stricter regulations in financial reporting and corporate operations. The fallout from the Enron scandal resulted in significant changes in legislation and regulatory oversight. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002 was passed in response to the scandal, 
implementing stricter financial reporting requirements, enhancing corporate accountability, and establishing greater transparency and integrity in corporate practices. Additionally, the Enron scandal led to the dissolution of Arthur Anderson, one of the largest accounting firms in the world at the time. Anderson was Enron's auditing firm, and its involvement in the scandal raised questions about the independence and effectiveness of auditors. The Enron scandal serves as a stark reminder of the potential for corporate greed, unethical behavior, and the devastating consequences of such actions. It had a profound impact on the business community, reshaping discussions around corporate ethics, transparency, and accountability. It also heightened awareness of the need for robust regulatory frameworks and stronger internal controls within companies to prevent similar scandals from occurring in the future. The Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme is one of the most infamous financial frauds in history. Bernie Madoff, a former chairman of the Nasdaq Stock Exchange and a highly respected figure in the financial industry, operated a fraudulent investment scheme that spanned several decades. Madoff's Ponzi scheme involved soliciting investments from clients and promising unusually high and consistent returns. However, rather than investing the funds as promised, Madoff used new investors' money to pay supposed returns to existing investors. This created the illusion of a successful investment operation and attracted even more clients. The scheme collapsed in December 2008, during the global financial crisis, when Madoff confessed to his sons that the investment business was a fraud. The total losses incurred by investors were estimated to be around $65 billion. The victims included individual investors, charitable organizations, pension funds, and prominent individuals. Madoff was arrested in December 2008 and later pleaded guilty to multiple charges, including securities fraud, investment advisor fraud, and other crimes. In June 2009, he was sentenced to 150 years in prison, one of the longest sentences ever handed down for financial fraud. The Madoff Ponzi scheme had significant repercussions for the financial industry and investor confidence. It highlighted flaws in regulatory oversight and raised questions about the credibility and effectiveness of auditors and regulators. The scandal led to increased scrutiny of investment practices, calls for more stringent regulations, and reforms to protect investors. The victims of the Madoff scheme suffered severe financial losses, and many charitable organizations were forced to curtail their operations or close down entirely. The fallout from the scandal had lasting impacts on individuals, families, and organizations who trusted Madoff with their investments. The Madoff scandal serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of investment fraud and the need for due diligence when evaluating investment opportunities. It emphasizes the importance of investor education, transparency, and regulatory vigilance to prevent similar fraudulent schemes in the future. The Tiger Woods infidelity scandal of 2009 shook the world of sports and celebrity culture. Tiger Woods, a highly successful and renowned professional golfer, faced a major public scandal when news broke that he had engaged in multiple extramarital affairs. The scandal erupted in late 2009 when reports emerged of Woods's infidelity. Numerous women came forward, alleging relationships and encounters with the golfer. The revelations shattered the image of Woods as a dedicated family man and sports icon, tarnishing his reputation. The scandal had significant personal and professional consequences for Woods. His marriage to Ellen Nordegren, with whom he had two children, ended in divorce. The revelations and subsequent media frenzy led to a decline in his endorsements and sponsorships, resulting in significant financial losses. In the wake of the scandal, Woods took a break from professional golf to focus on his personal life and seek therapy for his behavior. The hiatus lasted several months, during which he publicly apologized for his actions and expressed remorse for the pain he had caused. After his hiatus, Woods gradually made a comeback to the sport. 
Although his performance on the golf course faced challenges during this period, he eventually regained his form and achieved further success, including winning several major tournaments. The Tiger Woods infidelity scandal sparked intense public scrutiny, discussions on personal morality, and debates about the responsibilities and expectations placed on public figures. It raised questions about the intersection of fame, privacy, and personal choices. The scandal also highlighted the power of the media and the public's fascination with the personal lives of celebrities. It served as a reminder of the intense scrutiny that public figures face and the potential consequences of their actions on both their personal lives and professional careers. In the years following the scandal, Woods has worked to rebuild his image and reputation, both on and off the golf course. His journey serves as an example of redemption and resilience, demonstrating the ability to overcome personal challenges and regain public support. While the Tiger Woods scandal undoubtedly had a profound impact on his personal and professional life, it also served as a reminder of the complexities of human behavior, the fallibility of public figures, and the enduring fascination with the private lives of celebrities. The Volkswagen emissions scandal, commonly referred to as Dieselgate, was a significant automotive scandal that unfolded in 2015. It involved Volkswagen Group, one of the world's largest automobile manufacturers, deliberately installing software in its diesel vehicles to manipulate emissions testing results. The scandal came to light when researchers at West Virginia University discovered discrepancies between the emissions levels of Volkswagen diesel vehicles during laboratory tests and their real-world performance on the road. It was found that the vehicles were equipped with a defeat device, software that could detect when the car was undergoing emissions testing. During testing, the software activated certain emissions control systems to meet regulatory standards. However, during regular driving conditions, the emissions control systems were deactivated, resulting in significantly higher levels of pollutants being emitted into the atmosphere. The intentional manipulation of emissions data had severe consequences for Volkswagen. The scandal affected millions of vehicles worldwide, impacting the company's reputation, consumer trust, and financial stability. Volkswagen faced legal actions, regulatory investigations, and lawsuits from various stakeholders, including governments, customers, and shareholders. As a result of the scandal, Volkswagen initiated a massive global recall of affected vehicles and implemented various measures to rectify the emissions issue. The company also faced substantial financial penalties, including billions of dollars in fines and settlements. The Volkswagen emissions scandal had far-reaching implications beyond the automotive industry. It raised concerns about the integrity of emissions testing and regulatory systems, as well as the environmental impact of diesel vehicles. The scandal also spurred increased scrutiny and tighter regulations in the automotive sector, with a focus on emissions compliance and testing procedures. In response to the scandal, Volkswagen embarked on an extensive reform program to rebuild its reputation and regain consumer trust. The company committed to transitioning to cleaner technologies, investing in electric vehicles, and enhancing transparency and compliance measures. The Volkswagen emissions scandal serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of corporate misconduct, the importance of environmental regulations, and the need for transparency and accountability in the automotive industry. It has had a lasting impact on the public's perception of Volkswagen and continues to shape discussions about corporate responsibility, emission standards, and the pursuit of sustainable transportation. The Cambridge Analytica scandal, which unfolded in 2018, shed light on the unauthorized harvesting of personal data from millions of Facebook users and its subsequent use for political purposes. Cambridge Analytica, a now-defunct political consulting firm, acquired the personal information of around 87 million Facebook users through a third-party app without their explicit consent. The scandal originated with a quiz app developed by Alexander Kogan, a Cambridge University researcher, 
that collected personal data not only from the users who participated in the quiz but also from their Facebook friends. This data was then shared with Cambridge Analytica, which used it to create detailed psychological profiles of individuals for targeted political advertising and voter manipulation. The revelations about the misuse of personal data raised significant concerns regarding privacy, consent, and the exploitation of social media platforms. The scandal brought attention to the vast amount of personal information collected by tech companies and the potential for misuse by third parties. It also sparked debates about the role of social media in elections and public discourse. The use of targeted advertising and psychological profiling to influence voter behavior raised questions about the ethics and integrity of political campaigns. The scandal exposed the potential power of data-driven tactics in shaping public opinion and highlighted the need for greater transparency and regulation in the digital space. In response to the scandal, Facebook faced intense scrutiny and criticism for its data practices and lack of sufficient safeguards. The incident led to increased public awareness about data privacy issues and triggered investigations by regulatory authorities in several countries. It also prompted Facebook to implement changes to its data policies and strengthen user privacy controls. The Cambridge Analytica scandal served as a wake-up call for both tech companies and users, highlighting the importance of data protection, informed consent, and responsible handling of personal information. It underscored the need for individuals to be vigilant about their privacy settings and for regulators to establish comprehensive frameworks to safeguard user data and ensure ethical practices within the digital ecosystem. The Harvey Weinstein sexual assault scandal, which came to light in 2017, had far-reaching implications and sparked a powerful cultural reckoning on issues of sexual harassment, assault, and abuse of power. Harvey Weinstein, a prominent film producer and former studio executive, faced numerous allegations from multiple women in the entertainment industry, accusing him of sexual misconduct spanning several decades. The scandal was a catalyst for the hashtag MeToo movement, a global movement that encouraged individuals, primarily women, to speak out about their experiences of sexual harassment and assault. The movement gained momentum as countless women came forward to share their stories of abuse, shining a spotlight on the prevalence and systemic nature of sexual misconduct across industries. The Weinstein scandal shed light on the power dynamics and the abuse of power in the entertainment industry and beyond. It exposed the ways in which influential figures could exploit their positions to manipulate and silence victims. The allegations against Weinstein also highlighted the culture of complicity and cover-ups that had allowed such behavior to persist for years. The scandal sparked a broader conversation about workplace harassment, gender inequality, and the need for structural changes to ensure safe and respectful environments for all. It prompted discussions about consent, victim blaming, and the importance of believing and supporting survivors. The legal repercussions of the scandal were significant. Harvey Weinstein faced criminal charges and was convicted of sexual assault and rape in 2020. The trial and subsequent verdict represented a significant milestone in the pursuit of justice for survivors of sexual abuse. Beyond Weinstein, the scandal prompted investigations into sexual misconduct allegations across industries, leading to the exposure and downfall of other high-profile figures. It also prompted companies and organizations to reevaluate their policies and practices regarding harassment, implement training programs, and establish reporting mechanisms to address such issues. The Weinstein scandal and the subsequent hashtag MeToo movement marked a turning point in the global conversation on sexual harassment and assault. It elevated awareness and empowered survivors to come forward, challenging societal norms and demanding accountability for perpetrators. The movement continues to drive efforts to change the culture surrounding sexual misconduct, promote gender equality, and foster safer and more inclusive environments. The FIFA corruption scandal, which came to light in 2015, 
revealed pervasive corruption and illegal activities within the Fédération Internationale de Football Association FIFA, the governing body for international soccer. The scandal involved allegations of bribery, fraud, money laundering, and other corrupt practices by high-ranking officials within FIFA and its regional confederations. The scandal was uncovered through a long-term investigation by the United States Department of Justice, as well as other law enforcement agencies from around the world. The investigations revealed a complex network of corruption and kickback schemes related to the awarding of hosting rights for major soccer tournaments, such as the FIFA World Cup, and the sale of marketing and broadcasting rights. The allegations implicated several high-ranking FIFA officials, including top executives and regional confederation presidents. The scandal brought to light a culture of corruption, backroom deals, and financial impropriety that had long plagued the organization. The fallout from the scandal was significant. Numerous officials were indicted, arrested, and faced criminal charges. The scandal led to high-profile arrests, extraditions, and plea deals. It also exposed the extent of bribery and corruption within FIFA, tarnishing the reputation of the organization and raising questions about its governance and accountability. The scandal prompted major reforms within FIFA. Under new leadership, the organization implemented measures to enhance transparency, strengthen ethical standards, and improve governance practices. The reforms included changes to the bidding process for World Cups, term limits for officials, and the establishment of an independent ethics committee. The FIFA corruption scandal had a profound impact on the world of soccer. It brought attention to the need for greater oversight, integrity, and accountability within the sport's governing bodies. The scandal also highlighted the potential for corruption to undermine fair competition and hinder the development of the sport at all levels. In addition to legal consequences for the individuals involved, the scandal led to increased scrutiny of other soccer-related organizations, such as regional confederations and national football associations. It also sparked discussions about the role of sponsors and the responsibility of corporate entities in supporting clean and ethical practices within the sports industry. While the FIFA corruption scandal exposed deep-rooted issues within the organization, it also provided an opportunity for reform and a renewed focus on ethical conduct and transparency. The ongoing efforts to address corruption within FIFA continue to shape discussions about the governance and integrity of soccer worldwide. The Theranos scandal, which unfolded in 2016, involved the downfall of the healthcare technology company founded by Elizabeth Holmes. Theranos claimed to have developed a groundbreaking blood testing technology that could perform a wide array of tests using just a small amount of blood. At the heart of the scandal was the revelation that the technology touted by Theranos did not actually work as advertised. Investigations revealed that the company had misled investors, patients, and regulators about the capabilities of its blood testing devices. Theranos had been using commercially available machines for the majority of its tests, instead of its own proprietary technology. The scandal was significant due to the level of deception and false claims made by the company. Theranos had raised significant funding, reaching a valuation of several billion dollars, based on the promise of its technology. Elizabeth Holmes, the charismatic founder and CEO of Theranos, was hailed as a visionary entrepreneur and became a prominent figure in the business world. However, as the truth came to light, the company faced intense scrutiny and legal consequences. Investigations by regulatory bodies and media outlets revealed the discrepancies between Theranos claims and the actual performance of its devices. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, charged Theranos and Holmes with massive fraud, alleging that they had misled investors and exaggerated the capabilities of the technology. Holmes settled with the SEC, agreeing to pay fines and relinquish her control of the company. Criminal charges were also filed against Holmes and other top executives, and the company eventually dissolved. 
The Theranos scandal exposed the risks of overhyping and misrepresenting technology, especially in the healthcare industry. It highlighted the importance of transparency, scientific rigor, and regulatory scrutiny when it comes to medical innovations. The fallout from the scandal led to increased skepticism in the startup world and emphasized the need for rigorous due diligence and validation processes. The Theranos scandal also raised broader questions about the culture of Silicon Valley, the influence of charismatic leaders, and the potential for investors to be swayed by compelling narratives and promises of revolutionary technologies. It served as a cautionary tale for investors, regulators, and the public about the importance of critical thinking, independent verification, and ethical practices in the pursuit of innovation.